Hi all. Welcome to Ranjit Tennessee Academy. Today we are going to deal with one very important subject that affects the very operative outcome. That is nothing but hypotension. Coming to the topic, here you can see two variables which are significantly altered. One is hypoxia, another one is hypotension. Hypoxia is little bit rare when compared to hypotension. Hypotension is a very common occurrence, but to be successful, you have to take care of both. Before going into the definition of perioperative hypotension, when do you measure the blood pressure to say there is hypotension? What is very surprising is it is not even defined in more than 56% of the cases. That means there is no definition exists for what is blood pressure during surgery or a baseline is measured in the operating room or baseline is measured before the day of surgery and it is not clearly defined. These are the various things which are available for measuring blood pressure. But common things which we take for measuring blood pressure is one single measurement just before the administration of anesthesia or you take an average of three pre-induction measurement or you take an average of three measurement on admission to the ward. With this measurement only, you compare your perioperative blood pressure and you say the patient has hypotension or hypertension. So, what is the definition of intraoperative hypotension? Here, if you look at the definition, there is more than 60 to 70 definition for intraoperative hypotension. So, what is commonly used? Your systolic blood pressure is less than 80 millimeter of mercury or your systolic blood pressure is greater than 20 percent fall from the baseline or your systolic pressure is less than 100 or 30 percent decrease from the baseline. These are the three common definition used. So, what is the accuracy of this measurement? If you take less than 100 and greater than 30 percent fall from baseline, it is 67 percent accurate. If it is less than 80, it is 54 percent accurate. If you take a fall of 20 percent from the baseline, it is 65 percent accurate. So, they add a fourth definition, which means which is defined as less than 92 millimeter of mercury or a greater fall of 22, 24 percent from the baseline. This is most accurate, which is 68 percent accurate. These are all the various definition for intraop hypotension. So, your goal is to maintain the mean arterial pressure something about 75 percent of the measured value. In patient with cerebral ischemia or an hypertensive patient, you tend to maintain the blood pressure slightly higher than the normal to maintain the blood flow. 